We're singing and talking about transition songs today on the Miss Nina Weekly Video Show. Hi friends, welcome back to my series on preschool circle time tips and tricks. Today is part four four and the final part of this series and i am miss nina from mymissnina.com and the miss nina weekly video show on youtube so in the first three parts of the series we talked about attention grabbers getting little ones attention for circle time our morning routine then we did story time tips and tricks and today we're talking about how to transition out of circle time and into your next activity that of course only takes one transition song but transition songs are the magical glue that hold a preschool class together so i thought we'd talk about those a little bit today all right so we're going to start off with a transition song and then i'll tell you about my four tips the four keys to great transition song success so here we go right after my circle time we had art and so we had just finished our story time, we had just finished our discussion, and then I grabbed my box of smocks and would sing, if you wanna do some art, grab a smock and have a seat. If you wanna do some art, grab a smock and have a seat. If you wanna do some art, if you wanna do some art, if you wanna do some art, grab a smock and have a seat at the table. Let me ask you a question. Did anybody recognize the tune to that song? Right, it's the tune of If You're Happy and You Know It. So my first tip for great transition song is a familiar and easy tune, especially one that's very repetitive. So some great transition song tunes are Happy and You Know It, London Bridge, Farmer in the Dell, um, This Is The Way. Those are just a few that come to mind. And they're very repetitive, easy to remember, and the children usually have a positive association with those songs as it is, so they're gonna tune in to listen to what you're saying. So the second tip for a great transition song is a song that has very, very clear words and instructions in them that the children can follow along and sing along to. So for instance, here's one we would use when getting ready to go outside and line up at the door. Let's all go get our jackets. Let's all go get our jackets. Let's all go get our jackets and line up at the door. And of course, you can keep singing that song as we slowly go to our cubbies. So in my room, the cubbies were inside the room and we would then line up. So you go get your, go get your jackets on, help everybody get their things on, and then line up at the door. But as you can see, it's very, very clear instructions, easy to understand, easy to follow along to. Tip number three for a great transition song, is what I call ritual. Using the same song at the same time in the same way every day. Now this is particularly important for the toddlers and the twos and the threes. When you get up to the fours and five year olds, they can deal with variety a little bit better. But while the little ones are learning their structure, learning to feel safe in school, knowing, learning the routine of what comes next, Always using the same transition song at the, at the same time helps them to know what's happening. This helps them so much to stay really grounded and present in the moment with you in class instead of getting worried or upset or any of the other things that can happen during transitions. So here's one that I've done a video for before and this is one that I would use every day to march to the gym, right? We would march our feet and I would say, do as I'm doing and march to the gym with me. Do as I'm doing and march to the gym with me. Do as I'm doing and use your marching feet. Do as I'm doing and march and march with me, everybody. And I would sing that all the way to the gym. It was a really festive song and got they always knew what was coming next and got everybody very excited. Tip number four, my final tip for a great transition song is variety. Now, I know that's gonna seem like in direct opposition to what I was just talking to, but it's not. I do want you to use the same song in the same way at the same time in each class to help them in, the, in their transitions. But where you need to have variety is the tune that you use. If you always use if you're happy and you know it for your you know for your transitioning to art and then also for lining up at the door and then also for going outside if you're always using the same song 
it's that sort of thing where they don't tend to hear it anymore. They don't necessarily hear the instructions. It doesn't change the vibe or the mood for you. So you want to make sure you have a different tune in for each of your transition songs. So for instance, like I mentioned, London Bridge is a great tune for a transition song. So perhaps we've gotten to, oh, music time or the library and I want everybody to find a seat on a circle. I'll say, everybody find a seat, find a seat, find a seat. Everybody find a seat on a circle. You can make up any words you want to fit whatever transition you're working on, but just use an easy melody that everyone is familiar with clear words and instructions, repetitive in your song. Use it in the same way at the same time every day, and then make sure that you have many different melodies, many different tunes for your various transition songs that you use throughout your day. And I guarantee you, success in your preschool and toddler room <laughs> with transition songs. Now, of course, I also have uh, other videos of the transition song of transition songs, the cleanup medley. I will link to that one below here as, as well as some of the other transition song videos I've done, the other videos in this series. And of course, there's over 300 Miss Nina music and movement videos on my channel, the Miss Nina Weekly Video Show, that I would love if you would subscribe to. There you can find all sorts of songs for the other time, other your other needs during circle time and any other time of your day. And of course, you can subscribe to my weekly email over at mymissnina.com and when you join my email list, you get my very popular song, The Brown Bear Rap, a free download based on the book Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See by Bill Martin Jr. and Eric Carl. And you also get a PDF of 15, 15 animal action songs that you can do in your circle time and with links to every video I've done of those songs so you can learn the moves and follow along or just show them to your little ones. My friends, thank you so much for watching. It's been so fun doing this series for you. And I'm back next week with good old music and movement that you can sing, move, and dance along to with me. All right? All right. Thanks so much. And I'll see you soon. Bye.